One of the top priorities of House Speaker Paul Renner this session in Tallahassee is restrictions on youth access to social media. Children have always faced mean girls and boys, but social media has changed the game and causes unprecedented damage to our children's mental health. And here's the truth. The social media companies know this. The legislation, HB1, is moving quickly through the House. It would ban Floridians younger than 16 from social media, regardless of what a parent may want. The bill requires social media companies to use age verification methods to prevent those younger than 16 years old from getting an account and to terminate existing accounts for young people. When the bill passed its second and final House committee on Wednesday, several Democrats and Republicans who voted for it also said they wanted changes before it goes to the chamber for a final vote. Of particular concern is the lack of any exceptions to the ban. So, Tremel, is this one of those bipartisan issues up there in Tallahassee? Is there support uh, among Democrats also for the speaker's number one uh, uh, legis piece of legislation? I think we find it's something that many people across the board are, are concerned about, the amount of time kids spend on social media and some of the risk factors that we hear about that they get coerced and um, tricked online. Um, but we have also found where uh, Meta and these corporations are, are really now fighting for parental rights and saying that how this parents should have a choice here and this this bill this measure is taking that away so it's an interesting point and one of the things that i've always thought of is have we put forward a plan to hear from children do a panel of hearing from these kids on what they would like to see um even from the Meta's standpoint and from the policy making standpoint, hearing from these children, because just having this limit, as we know, children and those under 16 will will find a way around it. They can use other accounts. What's to really stop them from jumping on these platforms? Uh, Kimberly, uh, a lot of parents are worried about their kids, uh, anxiety and depression. It seems to be a, a growing problem. But the Tampa Bay Times pointed out this week that there's no studies linking anxiety and depression uh, to social media. What, what's your take on this? Well, you know, I don't know how robust the studies are. I, I am thankful that I didn't grow up at a time where I had to even, you know, be on, on Facebook, let alone some of these other sites. Um, it does seem as though a lot of parents tend to feel, you know, that I talk to, they tend to feel some pressure to uh, sort of go along because of otherwise, you know, so socially being ostracized. Um, and it does seem like it would be, you know, very difficult because obviously it's a time of bullying. It's a time where people can't, you know, it used to be you could, if you're bullied, you could go home and, you know, hopefully have a place, you know, where you feel safe. Now you're connected with your phone all the time. And so people are, are you know, being attacked uh, verbally and um, definitely we, it seems as though it would be a mental health problem. Others say, well, no, I get a lot of, you know, um, um, edification or justification from social media. So it can be a mixed bag. Um, you know, I've seen that in my own life too, but I will say, you know, the, the Florida is not the only place to have considered this. There are actually countries in the EU that have looked at this out of concern as, as to what might happen. And so I don't know, maybe there's a way to, to kind of thread the needle on this, but um, you know, it can be a place as well for, for, you know, predators and for collecting data online that you don't necessarily know what happens to it. So it, it, Maybe it shouldn't be shut it down automatically, but there probably should be a conversation about the pros and cons of, of having kids on these sites and, you know, what it means and and uh, perhaps a dialogue at least to, to get things started. And Kirby, even some of the Republicans and Democrats who voted for the speaker's bill had some reservations about parts of it yeah. this week. I, I just want to say it's it's uh, amazing that the social media companies are taking up the mantle of parental rights. I think they know exactly how to get the Republican leaders go uh, by by simply saying that phrase and putting them back on their heels. I think they're uh, they're earning their paychecks uh, w with that move. Um, but I just also wanted to say, um, you know, I think if the Florida legislature is successfully able to govern the will of a 15-year-old, then uh, I wish them all the best of luck in that. Okay.